video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Miralim Pjanic. Yes, the central midfielder from Bosnia-Herzegovina, currently playing for Roma, is having arguably his best season yet for that club. He is putting in some brilliant performances. He's been racking up the assist, he's scored a very nice amount of goals for the position he plays in as well, and on top of that, he's also a great career mode pickup for FIFA 16. I've seen him get requested a few times over the last couple of videos, and I thought, why the hell not, let's give him a go, considering he is such a special player with very nice attributes, great passing, and of course, he is one of the best free kick takers in the game. And at 25 years of age, he's also got plenty of growth left in him, I can assure you. But still, let's take a look at his stats right now. The mental and physical, all looks pretty good. You've got a great vision right there immediately, 88, which is sensational, and then average around 70, mid-70s uh, for the most of his technical or physical attributes. But now, the technical attributes that we're looking at right there, some insane ball control and dribbling, short passing and long passing as well. His free kick accuracy is 90, sensational. 25 years of age, 5 foot 11, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. I reckon that could almost go up to 4 star skill moves from what I've seen of him. Playmaker speciality and of course a bunch of other very nice traits, but the potential, ladies and gentlemen, of 86. Can he match it or can he even go past it? I reckon he's a real shout of going over 86, but it just depends whether or not he can maintain all the way to 2025. He will be about 35 years of age. But anyway, in the first season, despite having bad form, we get him to 85, as you can see. 26 years of age. He's gone up by uh, only technical attributes from what's being indicated. Can't see mental, can't see any physical growth, but I do see plus four to the ball control. That's now in the 90s at 93. And the same with short passing, now at 91. Incredible stuff. And then a bunch of other stats here and there. It's a good start. It's a very good start. I'll absolutely take that. He's halfway, technically, to getting to that 86 potential. Can he maybe do it in the second? He has. Bang. There you go. Straight away. He's now 86 rated within the first two seasons. Brilliant stuff. 27. Still, even despite that bad form, he keeps getting better. That's that's ridiculous. 86 rated overall right now. Still in, of course, the bad form. And only a handful of technical attributes, again, just like last season, that are being indicated to have gone up. The ball control now at 96 is ridiculous. Short passing still there. Things like long shots getting better. Some of his defense. Defending stats, 86, that's great. It can only get better from here, surely. The question, of course, though, will it? Let's find out as we find our way into Season 3. Scrolling down, what's his rating going to be? He's gone over his potential. And again, finally, we get a little bit of growth outside of the technical attributes. But again, we've had three overall increases back-to-back, -back, plus one every single season for, to be honest, very minimal growth, or at least very few stats that have gone up. Of course, you can only see this time six have been indicated, and yet... That's pretty much been the case for the last two seasons as well. And yet he's gone up by three in his overall. At least his form is back up to a decent rating. It's now up to good. Morale's happy. So he looks pretty good. We're leaving him very, very nicely in the third season. We're going to skip ahead now all the way to 2025. Will he still be 87? Will he have gone down? Will he have gotten even better? Let's take a look at him in 2025. So here we are. Miralim Pjanic in 2025. To go up plus one every single season at that overall is very, very impressive. Has he continued that growth? Let's find out. What's his rating in 2025? He has dropped off. He has gone down to an 84, which is right back to where we started with him in uh, when he was 25 years of age. And he has gone all the way down. But I tell you what, even though he's right back to where he started, looking at his technical attributes, you definitely wouldn't have thought so. It's just mental and physical that has really taken a bit of a step down. And even then, it's not too big a difference. Like the pace is pretty similar to what it was at the start. And then a lot of other ones as well, like strength, stamina, all around that same sort of mark as well. It's only gone down by a little bit, but the technical attributes are so much better better than what they were. Like ball control at 98, short passing at 96 as well. A couple of stats have gone down. Things like the dribbling's dropped off a little bit, as well as the free kick accuracy now at 89. But still, every single technical attribute that he has is at least above 70. And really, uh, apart from one that this is heading accuracy, everything else is at least above 70. And the majority of it isn't even close to that. It's around the 80s or hell, even some in the 90s. It's a brilliant, brilliant player when it comes to technical attributes. Miriam Pjanic, uh, Pjanic, what a hell of a playmaker. He could be a stunning, stunning player. He's done very well in that department, but we end 2025 with him in an 84 overall. Thanks for watching another 2025 video, guys. Don't forget, leave in the comments down below any other plays you would like me to do. And of course, until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the TMB store down below. Have a good one. Bye-bye.